You hungry? Because I just ate. Then I guess I'm good. I could go for some ice cream later on. Yeah, sure, I'll keep that in mind. What's this all about? We're meeting a friend at a Cuban restaurant in the French ward, a place called Villa del Mar. I'll fill you in on the way. Let's go. Wow, this is a hell of a car. How did you get your hands on it? It was a gift. From a friend of mine. A car like this? That's a hell of a friend. This friend we're meeting. Is it someone I know? Nah. Ex-company pal Robert Marshall. Has a line on an asshole we worked with before your time. A man by the name of Connor Aldridge. I remember the name. The two of you had some kind of fallen out. To fall out would suggest there was a time when we were in. You're dragging my ass around town because of him. Something had to go down. Look, all you need to know is that Aldridge is a traitorous cocksucker who got good men killed. And if he's a new Bordeaux, I promise you it's not for the booze and cheap blowjobs. Never is. Your taste in music leaves a lot to be desired. Yeah? But when I want to know what you think about my music, I'll smack you upside the head. I'm sorry, I can't listen to this anymore. Much Sorry to keep you ladies waiting. Robert Marshall. Johnny Boy and I work together at the company. Excuse me. You know, I gave you a shot to sit in the back seat and you didn't take it. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Ungrateful fuck. <sighs> Sorry about that. Marshall here is one of New Bordeaux's finest bounty hunters. Is that a cattle fraud? Works every time. Although it does create a hell of a mess when my skips shit themselves. Well, I keep that in mind. So what did you learn about Aldridge? Little Bertie told me he's been sniffing around our favorite Cuban bartender, Horatio Balmana. Balmana? Are you sure? Afraid so. If Aldridge is such a big deal, why is he exposing himself over a bartender? Therein lies the question, my dark-skinned compadre. Well, let's go. Looks like someone was intent on keeping folks inside. Let's get in there. Gee. God damn it. No more plantains for me. Hello? Anyone here? What kind of sick fuck shoots up a birthday party? Aldridge doesn't see the world the way we do. There is no order and there are no rules that he won't break. That's why I had to get away from him, and that life. That is not Balmana. We need to secure the upstairs. Yes, we do. And pray to God Balmana's still breathing. I'd say it's not looking good. I'll cover you boys from down here. Are you sure about Marshall? Man seems kind of tilted. Tilted? Nah, he's good. Hey, this uh, fella down here is still alive. Oh, wait, no, that's, uh, that's his brains. Hey, this fella down here has got his brains and his frijoles. OK, yeah. So maybe he's a little off.
fucking Aldridge. Over there. God damn. Meet Horatio Balmana. <sighs> Shit. Really? What? It's an Upman. Balmana was a pilot in the Cuban Revolutionary Armed Forces. Back in November 62, the Navy found him and a couple of his pals floating in the Gulf, and they brought him in. Which is where you come in, I suppose. I was already in Nam, but I heard about it. Balmana spilled everything he knew about Castro. We planted a news story about the crew being found dead. And that poor bastard ended up here, tending bar. The way this hand's cut up, Aldridge knows what he's doing. He was trying to get Balmana to talk. You all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah! I got him. Oh. Not a chance. We got some questions for you. Why the hell did you make me chase you like that? All right, let's go. <clears throat> Don't kill me, man. Don't kill me. Why the fuck you running? Have you seen you? Fair point. Come on. I got someone who wants to talk to you. It's damn good bourbon, huh? Was well, that an upman you're smoking? Goddamn right it is. <laughs> Moving up in the world. <clears throat> Who the fuck are you guys? Uh, 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 uh. What's your name? Fernando. La gente me llama. Huh? People call me Chucky. You let people call you Chucky? <laughs> Why would you? You know, forget it. There's a dead man upstairs named Balmana. Yes, so? So the man we're after is the one who shot the living shit out of this place. What's that got to do with me? You're not too bright. Are you, Chucky? Oh, fuck! You're the sole survivor of a goddamn massacre. That's what it's got to do with you. So, tell us what you heard. All right, all right. Dami, the man who came in here, he was asking about a how. A how? Uh, what house? I, I don't know. Balmana refused to say anything, and then he started screaming. And then he gave him a name. Pedro. Pedro Pong. Say it again so I can hear it. Pedro. Pedro Pong. Jesus Christ. And that was oh! it! He, he, he told another man he was with that thing to get the crew to the plane as quickly as possible. That's everything I hear. All my mother! That mean anything to you? Pedro Pond's a code name for a CIA safe house here in the city. Can you keep our pal here on ice back at your place? Sure thing. All right, let's go check out your new digs, princess. Oh. Two of you find yourselves in need of sniper support. Hit me up on the radio. Adios, Chucky. Oh. Stand up. I'll probably catch cold. <laughs> <laughs> 